Good. Hey, Tim. Gonna show you a couple things that have really helped me a lot uh, lately. Just trying to help you take take it for what it's worth. Uh, if it works for you, good. If it doesn't, don't worry about it. But uh, so this is a little tool that my buddy Lyle came up with, just to show how you don't need to move the top hand. So basically, it's like an oar lock, right? Now, when I put my elbow in to the side and on my ribs, it gives me a firm platform and this is to show what's going on. So I do my lift to my target and then as I turn, I'm not doing this. I'm just keeping tension on the line. So I am pushing the bottom hand, but I'm not pushing the rod tip around. I'm just keeping the rod tip bent as I turn. Now the rod tip will stop around here. And at that point, that's when I do this. Now this hand never does this. All it does is go up and down from this position here. So with the Orlock, Like, uh, I know you've heard me talk about turning myself into like a machine. And you'll see here, if I do that without moving that top hand, that anchor lands perfectly every time, right where I want it. So the whole idea behind not moving the top hand, if I move the top hand even this little bit, it's no longer my fulcrum point. So then I'm just using the top part of the rod. But if this isn't moving and I'm pushing around this fixed point here, if I'm pushing around that, the whole rod is being bent down into here because this is a fulcrum point and I'm getting the maximum bend out of the rod. Not so much with the rod tip, but with the top hand, but if I'm pushing around with the bottom hand and this isn't moving, and it doesn't take much to mess it up. I was holding the rod out front here with my elbow away from my ribs, and I wasn't getting the same result because I had a tendency to pull just a little bit. But if I stay here fixed, it's just so much more efficient. Okay, you can stop that one. All right, Tim, so this is a little exercise that I've used and Jared uses and a lot of the guys use to kind of get the feel of using just the bottom hand and not the top hand. Um, so what it is is, and it, this has worked a lot with uh, people that I'm just teaching. It's actually worked wonders with some of them. And whenever my casting is going for a shit, I'll, I'll do this a couple times just to get that feeling again. So all it is, is I'm lifting up and then without moving the top hand, the top hand can go up and down, but never back and forth. So the exercise, and this is, I try and keep my top hand really in front of me and I really concentrate on it. And you have to remember that it's not back and forth like this. It's always to the side, so the line is coming underneath the rod tip into the back cast. So let me just get the line straight here. Okay, so I lift, push out the bottom hand, and pop it back out. Lift, push out the bottom hand. And I'm really concentrating on not moving the top hand. Now the top hand will swivel like this. You can see that in my hand. Now another thing, I think I mentioned it to you, but the slower that I can make the line come back to me, the more time I have to get myself into position to fire.
Hope some of this makes sense. If you have any questions, just let me know. And good talking to you, buddy. Go for it, alright? So Tim, if you get it to work all together, hopefully you can see what's going on here. But this is kind of the result. Like that's you can see how much running line is out there compared to the head. Over a hundred feet of running line. So it works. See ya.